Hello there everybody and welcome back to yet another Elder Scrolls Online house tour. I hope you're all safe and well. Today I'm going to take you around my Domus Frasticus alchemy shop. I've had this lot for quite a long time. I recently just updated it out of these tents and um, sort of made a couple of small tweaks. Um, I never did a tour of it before despite having it for so long because I was never 100% happy with this outside courtyard. Um, but now that I've added these red guard tents, I'm kind of more happy with it. The idea is that because of its location, it's not only an alchemy shop, but it's also a sort of stop off point for any traveling merchants or mercenaries or anybody like that who wants to try and sort of garner some business, um, especially in this sort of uh, ravaged land, as it were. Um, so uh, originally I had like orcish tents or something out the front and I wasn't happy with that um, but the red guard ones I'm a bit more happy with so I decided to film it and show you. Uh, around the back here we have a small garden with planters um, with some sort of um, it's supposed to be herbs and alchemical ingredients growing back here for the shop um, so they've sort of got their own supply chain so that they don't have to rely on uh, caravans of goods and then also back here you can see I turned the little stable building that I can't move into a sort of drying house um, or somewhere that they might prepare potions outside if they don't want to do it in the shop. Originally I did have a seating area here under these trees but I kind of removed it because I wanted to make some more space for some other items. So now that I've shown you the outside I'm going to head on inside and show you the shop. The ground floor, as you can see, uh, as well as having some herbs and magical plants growing inside as well, is the sort of alchemy and enchanting uh, shop room. We have a couple of uh, shelves to the side here with various ingredients and potions and uh, other magical items. And then just over here we have the counter for the shop and we have Tithis cooking away in his uh, sort of cauldron in the background there. Uh, I think you can just about see that I did buy some of that uh, mist from the crown store to add a bit more atmosphere in here. Hanging in the air creepily. <laughs> On my old computer I couldn't actually see that because um, I couldn't get the settings to go high enough but now I can and I'm very pleased about that. So yeah, just behind the counter here we have some shelves and that uh, poison maker's cabinet with uh, various potions and all the magical looking things. And then over here we have a really nice window seat in the middle of all that um, potion fog. <laughs> Which I don't know if that's good for you, but there you go. <laughs> Heading upstairs we're going to the sort of residential part of this house. Um, when you enter here, again, there's some more magical plants growing uh, because I really like indoor um, plant uh, thingies like planters and such. Uh, and then we have the bookshelves, uh, a study desk, a sofa, and um, I, another window seat because I really, really like those. <laughs> I really want one of those in real life, but I haven't got the opportunity, so I make a lot of them in game instead. I divided this room here using those um, orcish platforms so that around here can be uh, a sort of private desk um, sort of working area and then also uh, a little sleeping area. The only problem I have with this is it's very very dark in here. I mean even though I'm filming this during Elder Scrolls night time it's also quite dark during the daytime so I tried to fill it with light but it was quite difficult. <laughs> And then, heading back here, if you sneak along this platform, there is a gold storage, which is part of my uh, criminal network, uh, where basically this character invests in loads of shops and stuff, and then like smuggles gold and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's been my alchemy shop. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I might see you in the next one. Bye!